Bill Schoomaker, and this is my technology presentation for Fire Safety Engineer. Now before I start talking about it, I'm going to do a small experiment to kind of show what they do. I have two wooden sticks, one from Lowe's, the other one from Lowe's. And I also have fire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light one of the sticks on fire and I'm going to break both of them. So here is me breaking a stick that's not on fire. Didn't take much force. Barely any at all. Now, alright, so it's been burning for some time. And now we're gonna smash this one too. I'm just gonna let it go. So, what did this experiment show us? It showed us that an object's structure weakens when it is exposed to fire. This is the basic principle for our fire safety technicians. Fire safety technicians work in a lab with different chemicals that each has their own unique fire properties, and they use these chemicals to create materials that have unique fire properties, like wood that is very flammable, metal that isn't very flammable, cement which isn't very flammable, and many other substances that are used in buildings around the world. Now the actual job itself can be set in one of two places. The first place it can be set is a laboratory, where all they really do is just try to come up with new materials that have unique fire properties. The second is any heavily populated area that needs some sort of fire inspection. These areas can include huge cities such as New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, Sacramento, and Austin. They also work in very heavily industrialized cities, so anything that has a lot of factories and uses a large amount of fuel, it's prone to fires. The general skills for being a fire safety technician is they have to be very observant, very good with chemicals, very careful, and very thorough in any investigation of a building. A lot of the instruments they work with while at the city are fire extinguishers, fire blankets, and fire alarms. So how much education does a fire safety technician need? Well, a fire safety technician, their minimum level of education is a bachelor's degree in fire safety, with a close second being chemistry. The main courses one would take in college include chemistry, fire safety, fire science, smoke management, and for even some cases, architecture. The University of Maryland and Eastern Kentucky have all of the courses I've previously mentioned, and are it's one of their biggest majors ever. For my country comparison, I have chosen to compare the United States to India. India's high population has led to a large need for fire safety technicians. Because of this need, they have a very good wage for a very low education. The minimum education for a fire safety technician in India is an associate's degree, while in America it is a bachelor's degree. The work output for an Indian fire safety technician is much larger than a work output for an American fire safety technician. What I mean by this is because there are less fire safety technicians in India, they have to do more work. Also, there are a lot more opportunities in India because of the high population and their growing need for fire safety technicians.